Hi everyone, today we're going to chat about something that might surprise you, how your love of a good barbecue could be linked to arthritis. Yep, you heard it right. A super interesting study has just been published which examined data from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey and this looked at information from 2007 to 2016. And interestingly, the researchers discovered a possible connection between something called PAHs or polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and the risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis. They found that individuals with higher levels of PAHs in their blood were more likely to have rheumatoid arthritis. And this suggests that avoiding exposure to these chemicals um, which are produced when meat is cooked at high temperatures may help to reduce the risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis. Here it's important to note that this study doesn't prove that PAHs are causing rheumatoid arthritis, it just highlights an association. So we can't jump to conclusions just yet, but hey, it's still worth paying attention to. It suggests that exposure to PAHs might play a role in the development of RA and that means we should be mindful of where these PAHs are coming from. So let's think about our barbecue sessions for a moment. Grilling meat has been linked to higher levels of PAHs and while we can't say for sure it directly causes rheumatoid arthritis, it's always good to be aware of the potential risks. Now, PAHs are these sneaky little things that can be found in our environment and even within our bodies. And they're formed during the uh, incomplete burning of coal, oil, gas, wood and other organic substances. And they can be found in many places. Um, these include car exhaust fumes, cigarette smoke and also in grilled or charred food. And interestingly, exposure to PAHs has been linked to other health problems, so including cancer and respiratory issues. And PAHs are known to be carcinogenic and um, to cause DNA damage. And when inhaled or ingested, PAHs can also cause inflammation in the body. And this can, um, or is thought to contribute to the development of chronic diseases like rheumatoid arthritis. So what can we do to reduce our exposure to PAHs? Um, one way is to choose alternative cooking methods such as baking, boiling or steaming rather than grilling or charring our food. If you do choose to grill your food, consider pre-cooking the meat in the oven or microwave uh, to reduce the time that it spends on the grill. Also, um, make sure to avoid inhaling smoke from the grilling or smoking process. Another option is to opt for plant-based meals, which are generally lower in PAHs. Um, not only can they be very tasty and nutritious, but they can also help us to lower our intake of PAHs. Um, and in addition to reducing our exposure, adopting a healthy lifestyle can help to reduce our risk of rheumatoid arthritis um, as well. So by increasing our exercise um, activities, and managing stress levels and eating a varied and balanced diet. So in summary, uh, while more research is needed to understand this link between PAHs and rheumatoid arthritis fully, it's important to be aware of the potential risks associated with exposure to these um, chemicals. Um, and by making simple changes to our cooking habits and, and adopting a generally healthy lifestyle, we can help to reduce our exposure to PAHs and improve our overall health. And if someone you know or yourself is living with rheumatoid arthritis, consider exploring the benefits of adopting a plant-based lifestyle. So head on over to rheumatoidsolutions.com to find out more. Um, remember this study um, is just one piece of the puzzle and many factors contribute to the development of rheumatoid arthritis, but staying informed and making small changes to our lifestyle can be a step in the right direction. So take care of yourselves and keep an eye out for more exciting research that helps us unravel the mysteries of our health. Thank you for listening. Bye.